Hey guys, Zero here, and today I'm playing Mixed Up Mother Goose. Now, some of you might be thinking, why are you playing this? Isn't this a kid's game and, well, fuck you, don't make fun of my childhood memories. No, but seriously, this is, this is a classic, this is old Sierra style game, and it's just one of my favorites. I played this so many times as a kid. And my brother may not remember this, but he actually, this was months ago, I think he sent me a text, he said, you should totally play Mixed Up Mother Goose, just kind of out of the blue. And I never really got back to that, but then I remembered this the other day, and I thought, yeah, sure, why not, let's, uh, let's play it for the hell of it, so, this is a request for my brother, I guess. Now, I know that there are different versions of this game. I think there's like four different versions. There's the original, and then they did some updates, you know, a couple of years apart or whatever. But this is the old, I think, original version, or at least this is the one that I had. The ones without the lyrics or anything like that. It's just straight up computer beeping noise, and I don't even know why I'm sitting through the credits right here, but whatever. We're just going to keep going for a while. Um... <laughs> Oh shit, 1987. This is just a year after I was born. <laughs> I think that's it. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why this name was here. This was here when I brought this up. Um, these, this was just from me fooling around earlier. Blarg and Blarg! <laughs> so, we'll start a new one. What's my name? And <laughs> choose who you look like. <laughs> Well, do I have to choose exactly who I look like, or can I just pick who I want to pick? Um, who is it I always chose? I always chose this character, because I'm not going to pick a girl. I could, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, good night. Oh, wow, it turns dark pretty quickly there, and this was always kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. Let me turn the lights on. And then a la Super Mario Brothers 2, this whole thing pretty much is going to take place in a dream. It's like, god damn it. Need just cut the music off. Alright, um, so, well, she's going to explain it in just a sec, but I mean... It's, it's mixed up Mother Goose, it's got all these, you know, old nursery rhymes, and the point of it is that they're all mixed up. All, everyone is missing some kind of key item to their nursery rhyme, and it's, it's spread out all over the map here. So you have to try to find the right ones and return it to the rightful owners, and then it'll play the nursery rhyme. So there's Mother Goose. And that's it, and she just goes right back in the house. And you can see up there in the top left, uh, there's another person there. I always, um... Oh, jeez, let's change the speed here. <laughs> FASTEST! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to play on fastest, otherwise it just drives me nuts being super slow, because the other speeds suck. Fast is okay, but it's like, there's fast, and then there's fastest. There's no in-between, which is really dumb. Um, but like I was saying, the, the guy in the top left there... You can't get to him, which always bothered the crap out of me as a kid. Oh, look at that fire! <laughs> so, here, let's let him. Yeah, that's, that's more so what it normally looks like. She just says hello, and you can't go upstairs. But, um, <laughs> that always bothered me. I always wanted to go upstairs and find out who that was. I guess maybe that's like, maybe it's father time, you know, cheating on uh, Mother Nature. I don't know. Um, alright, let's turn it to fastest. You see, score is 0 out of 18, so there's 18 nursery rhymes that we have to fix. And that beep beeping is just the goose. So let's just roam around for a bit. Uh, Mary? Quite contrary, right? So we need to get her her watering can. Wow, look at her! Look at her hoe that field. There you go, that's what it normally looks like. Um, I'm gonna try to find everyone first before having their items so you can see what they're asking for because if you come with the right item by chance you won't get to uh hear their first talk or their you know what i mean the first thing they say so 
So, little Bo Peeps lost her sheep. Well, fuck your sheep. I'm gonna find your sheep and I'm gonna shear the crap out of them. Turn them into a sweater. And I'm gonna kill them. Oh, well... <laughs> Well, that was convenient. Sometimes you get lucky. It's random placement. The, the characters themselves, they're always in the same place. But the items, or the animals, or whatever it is you have to bring, they're in random spots. There's predetermined spots, like there's always something here, but what it is is random. So, oh, get, I'm get stuck on the sheep. Come on! Okay. <laughs> Let me get this first one pretty quickly here. And it automatically goes to, like, a normal speed for the, uh, the nursery rhymes. They're right behind you, you dumb bitch. No, turn the other way. Bring bring their tails behind them. Well, of course your tail's behind them. Ugh. Yeah, stroke your sheep. And then, oh, she, <laughs> she's super stroking the sheep. And this is why I also like the fastest speed, because it looks funny. And then usually if you leave and come back, they might be doing something different, or now they're just static, and then... So this one's complete, so you already see we got one, one point. So let's see, uh, oh, these idiots. We're gonna leave them alone for a while. I don't want them right now. You got this grouchy old man here. It's like, hey, you random person, go fetch me my shit. And what the hell's a six pence anyways? It's like a six cents? Not that, you know, six cents Bruce Willis, but, you know. I see dead people. Oh, uh, no, I don't want you to, I don't want you to find your tuffet. Well, actually, no, I do. Oh, this is, man, this is dumb random luck. Her tuffet's right up there. If you go up, the tuffet's empty. This is one of those ones where you don't find the person first and go fetch them the item. It's the actual person. So I just have to bring her up here. Oh, it's two down already. I've never had curds and whey, but I don't ever want to try it. It sounds nasty. <laughs> He's like, poke, poke, hello. <laughs> it's her run, bitch. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie. That spider creeped the shit out of me as a kid, but now when I look at it, it's totally awesome. You leave, you come back, and then she's just back there sitting. Nothing happens. The spider doesn't come back down again, unfortunately. Uh, we got a fiddle there. Probably guess what that's for. We got Jack and Jill up here. Alas, we need a pail. Uh, what's the with the alas? Why don't you go find your own damn pail instead of just sitting around? And look at that happy sun. I'd... There you go, normal sun now. Crazy sun! <laughs> no, oh shit, I picked up the dog. I don't want the dog. Okay, I just make sure I don't want to... Uh... Uh, I forget who he is. Okay, um... Oh, there's a mouse in there. Let's go up here. No, get off. Uh, I forget who they are. But they're hungry, and they want a, uh... T-bone steak or whatever. I don't know, a classic cartoon steak. Um, let's get rid of the dog, huh? <laughs> and the dog just did... Where'd the dog go? He just disappeared. Um, uh, wait a minute. Wow, they're really hungry. Look at them working that table. Okay, that's more normal. And then fast again. Okay, and then the same with the water fountain. Everything just looks better with fast speed. Um, that's Banbury thing. I hate that crap. Uh, let's see who else. We got the clock over here. Hickory dickory dock. It's like, find me a mouse. Why do you want a mouse? And why is the clock talking to me? What's wrong with this game? There's a candle. Uh, we'll leave that there for now. Like I said, I'm just mostly gonna... Actually, let's look up here. No, no, not in there. This the problem with the fastest. Oh, wait! <laughs> well, here's your damn mouse. Wow, that is some really, like, weird random luck. I swear, normally the, uh, things are more spread apart. Dickery, dickery, dog. And then the clock's go crazy again, and then if we leave and come back... And then he's just sitting up on top of the, uh, the clock again. Uh, we're gonna leave the candle there for now. What we got up here? Uh, oh, wow. She's right by her, uh, where I gotta take her to. That's really weird. Oh, there's the pail. 
That doesn't really look like a pie. It looks more like a plate of shit or dog food. I don't know. Well, oop. While we're here, we'll just grab the pail. All right, let's go take this over to, uh, no, not there. Let's go take this over to Jack and Jill and not grab the dog. All right, here's your stupid pail. That's right, Jack, get wrecked. The animation for her falling looks so stupid. She looks like a tricycle or something. Now, I don't know what's going on in the center, uh... Yeah. And then the best part... Look at Jack, he's gone. He's having a seizure. Oh, everything's better on fastest. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll leave the dog still. That dog can just sit there for all I care. Go check out. Let's go check out this wall and get off the wall. Ah! <laughs> My wife is gone again. We'll go find her. Or maybe she. Maybe she wanted to leave you. Oh, I can go in. Yay! You can't go in later. You'll see why. Well, actually, you'll see now because uh. uh and speaking of, who lives in a pumpkin? This this thing would rot pretty quickly. P pumpkins. P pumpkins. Pumpkins get pretty nasty pretty quickly after you, you know, carve them and shit for Halloween. The next day, they're all grody and shit. <laughs> I live in a pumpkin! <laughs> yeah, it's called- it's right there! Oh, god, you stupid bitch. <laughs> that's- that's four for four. That, they're normally not right next to what they need to uh, go to, but whatever, I'll take it. I hate this nursery rhyme. Oh yeah! Give me a kiss, baby. Now get in the house. <laughs> I like how he, he puts her in there and he just doesn't, he doesn't go in. And I hate this nursery rhyme for certain reason. I'm not going to say why. And my brother not better either. Or I'll kill him. Just leave it at that. <laughs> I blame my brother for that. Oh, okay, well, might as well. Oh, well, here we cook. This is the boy and his little dog. And again, it's like, you know what? What's wrong with you people? If, you're, if your dog is lost, go look for him. Instead of sitting there crying up a freaking river. Oh, man. All right, let's go feed these stupid people here. Get up in there. Jack Spratt, that's who. I can't remember all of them. Look at those pigs. I <laughs> how the cat just comes up and snatches that. Kind of makes me think of my, my nephews. Two of my nephews, they, uh... If you've ever eaten pot stickers, one doesn't like the inside stuff, and the other doesn't like the skin, so it works out. They both, uh, combine, they can finish them off, and I just eat the whole thing, because I love pot stickers. But anyways, um, come back in, and they don't really change. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, let's go grab the dog now. Freaking psycho dog who's running around in a circle, too. What's wrong with the dog, too? <laughs> oh, come on. Sometimes I try to get the, uh... The follow things that follow you. I try to get them stuck on the poles. Here, let me see if I can. If you do it just right, you can kind of get them stuck somewhat. And they they try to follow you, and then you can kind of lose them for a bit. I don't know. I used to do that as a kid. Make up my own games, okay? Uh, let's. You know, woe is me. Lost my candles. Like this idiot over here. It's another nursery rhyme that never made sense. Uh, oh, there's the watering pail. Right there, dude. He's right there. Yeah, he's right there. See? <laughs> oh, isn't that so cute? See, it looks cute at normal speed, but it looks vicious at fastest speed. Because it looks like, oh my god, he's mauling him to death. <laughs> oh, I look, no, I thought it looked faster. Oh well. Uh, let's go grab this watering pail right now, since we're right here. And I'll be back with your candle later, you jackass. Get it? <laughs> God. What the hell are 
cockle shells. Oh yeah, pretty maids. Giggity. Now watch this crap, she's so hacking. Almost, she finishes watering, and then watch this shit. That is not how it works, okay? You can't just water the ground and the flowers just magically sprout out five seconds later. Yeah, she's smiling. It's, uh, she's even something special there. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, the menus here, the sound, joystick, info, about. It was designed by Rob Roberto Williams. Roberto Williams. Roberto Williams. I can't say shit right now. And the, the menu is like, put away my game, begin where I left off, begin a brand new game, quit this game. What happened to just save game, load game? What do they think kids were stupid? Um, let's see. We'll save it real quick. And, um, that's it for this first part. I'm going to cut this one here. This might take maybe one, no more than two more videos. You can see we're almost already halfway through. So I'll see you in the next one.